My name's Andrea and I'm your Caritas Australia Guide, here to introduce you to this year's Project Compassion Stories. Supporting Project Compassion is one way we can all help make a difference today for all future generations. So let's visit some of the people around the world who are creating lasting change for their families and their communities. First up is Nepal, where we meet Lakshmi. My name is Lakshmi and this is my story. Caritas Australia's partner organisation, Caritas Nepal, supports a child's club at Lakshmi School. These clubs support students in extracurricular activities that develop their speaking, writing and leadership skills. Students also organise awareness raising activities like rallies and street dramas to highlight issues such as child rights. Through her involvement in the Child's Club, Lakshmi's confidence grew. Now, I know where to speak, what to speak. However big the gathering might be, I'm not afraid to speak. Lakshmi and her Child's Club members successfully lobbied to have a series of water taps at their school so that all students could access clean drinking water. This experience made Lakshmi realise that her voice matters, that her actions can make a difference. Even if I go elsewhere for studies or employment, when I come back later in the future and visit the school, I'll see the taps. I'll think about these memories and feel really happy. Lakshmi continues to be involved in the Child's Club, serving as an advisor. She attends the meetings regularly, mentoring the next generation of young leaders at her old school. Now let's cross over to Zimbabwe to meet Priscilla. Priscilla lives with her husband and two grandchildren in northwest Zimbabwe. The region, like many parts of East Africa, is experiencing a drought. We had plenty of rain at first, but as time has gone by, the rains have become unpredictable. Our biggest challenge as a family was mainly food insecurity due to the farming method we used. With the support of Caritas Australia's local partner, Caritas Swangi, Priscilla and her community learned conservation farming skills to grow drought resistant crops. Thank you! <laughs> Priscilla also used the money from her increased harvest to start poultry farming. Now she can sell eggs to pay for her grandchildren's school fees, books, and stationery. With the poultry project running, this will be an income generating source that will help us survive even during droughts. Karatas Swangi has also helped Priscilla to keep her cows healthy. We get milk from the cows, and the manure we use in conservation farming comes from the cattle. Cattle are very important to us. We are indeed grateful to Karitas for the knowledge. Our next stop is Vietnam, where we meet Tu. Tu lives with his wife, Lin. During the Vietnam War, landmines were used. Tu was 12 years old when he stepped on an unexploded landmine and lost his leg. Living with a disability in rural Vietnam presented many challenges for Tu, who worked mainly as a rice farmer. It is hard to get a job in rural areas where people earn their living mainly from farming Tu joined a village savings and loans association where he could interact with other people living with a disability. The association helped Tu to borrow some money so that he could set up a barber shop and earn extra income to support his family. I think having a club is good where people living with disabilities can join and help one another. Tu now plans to invest in livestock such as pigs, ducks or chickens to further increase his income. Before, my life was difficult. Now, I'm happier and more relaxed. Finally, let's head back to Australia and meet Teresa. My name is Teresa and I am a Camilleroy descendant born and raised on Darik land. A mother of four, Teresa found it hard to provide for her family. Determined to create a better future for her children, Teresa found the support she was looking for when she joined the Barbane Aboriginal Corporation's Young Mums and Bubs program supported by Caritas Australia. 
Barbain helped Teresa to reconnect with her culture again through art. Her artistic skills flourished and her artwork was chosen for the Vivid Festival in Sydney in 2022. Every painting has a story and my story is very long. I've never been to Vivid and to have my artwork displayed is over the moon, amazing. I never thought in a million years that this was something that would happen to me. Teresa's children now produce their own artwork too and are eager to learn more about their First Nations Australian culture, history and symbols. I want them to have an involvement with the community. Uh, the community has your back, so it's good to have that to lean on. And I want my kids to realise that as well. Today, Teresa works at Barbane, providing support to young mothers in her community. So what does For All Future Generations mean? We spoke to some Australian students to find out. We are driven by our desire for a legacy that is one of compassion and hope to ensure that all future generations may flourish. For us, all future generations means to maintain and preserve the goodness in our hearts and actions for all those here and yet to come. By being good stewards of creation, we are maintaining and preserving God's kingdom on earth for all future generations. The good things that we do for the environment every day will have a crucial, long-lasting impact on the planet for the coming generations. We can help all future generations by taking care of the planet and helping the poor to get a better education so that they can be independent and help other people around them. Not just the people more unfortunate than me, but everyone. And if we help them prosper, then the future generations after that will also thrive. One way that we can actively love like Christ is by donating to Project Compassion. The small sacrifices we make will make a big impact on many places around the world for many years to come. We can all be inspired by the people and communities Caritas Australia supports with your help. Together we can be social justice champions working towards a better world for everyone. How will you show your love and compassion and create change for all future generations?